Hi guys, how are you doing? I am back with a new video. Arden is here with me. Ba -da -ba -da. Uh, and uh, this week we are... Um, We're talking about our favorite topic, as of late. As of late, which is Gilmore Girls. So about a month ago, Arden turned to me and said, Hey, we should watch the first episode of Gilmore Girls. Yep. I hadn't seen Gilmore Girls. I, like, well, I'd seen like a few episodes on in the UK. And I, like, didn't really get it. So I didn't really like Gilmore Girls. So she was like, okay, let's watch the first episode. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't really want to do it, but fine. We watched the first episode. And then for that entire day, <laughs> we ended up watching the first season of Gilmore Girls. I knew you were hooked when you were asking questions about the different characters. And, like, being like, I don't know if I like Dean by, like, the third episode. Yeah. We watched the whole season in literally, like, a day or two days. And Solid from the get go, life. I was hooked. I was I was hooked on the on the Gilmore Girls. So we thought this would be a fitting time, given that the new series of Gilmore Girls is coming out Woo! on Friday. I yeah, think. yeah. So we're gonna talk about Gilmore Girls. We're we're doing a Gilmore Girls video. God, yeah. I never thought I'd ever say that ever. Basic premises: two. How do I? You should do this. I'm bad at so, talking. So small town America. A single mother raising yes. a child. She gets pregnant at 16. Has an estranged family because they're uber wealthy and she got pregnant as a teenager. That's a no-no in a small town. So, the entire premise of the show is a single mother surviving in a town called Stars Hollow and all the shenanigans she gets up to yes. with her daughter Rory, yes. who is 16 years old in the first couple episodes, I think, yeah. or in the first season. Yeah. And... It's her going to high school and her experiences there while Lorelai, the mom, is like handling juggling work a business and romance. And, and romances and a whole bundle of things. Yes. Right. So that's the premise. That's the Gilmore Girls premise. Yes. But the most important part, important part, Rory's love life is the best. Because there are like three main contenders. Yes. Because Lorelai's is a little messy. Her timeline's messy. But by the end of the seven seasons, there are three main male contenders for Rory's affection. Yes. So there are three main romances, and people are taking sides on who they like the best. Because in the new series, uh, hopefully, they will solve who the, the, the Rory with. romance cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. So first off, the first romance we're going to be talking about is... Dean. Dean. So Dean is Rory's first love interest. First. And it's a love interest happening in high school. It is a high school High school sweetheart. sweetheart. Yes. Yep. He is, I think, in my eyes, the golden retriever of all the boyfriends. You like Dean, and mm -hmm. then you don't like Dean, and you, you still kind of like Dean. They just really screwed over Dean's character in the writer's room. Yeah. That's how I feel about it, because first season Dean was my favorite. He's, like, so sweet. And he's always there for Rory. Yeah, then he becomes like really weird and needy. Well, he's just like first boyfriend. He's perfect first boyfriend material. Yeah. That's what he is. He's like comfortable. Yeah, he's like really, he's just non-offensive. Yeah. So Dean, we like, we we have a love-hate relationship with Dean. Well, I don't like Dean because of the fact that he cheated on his wife with Rory. Right, so. And then took her virginity. <laughs> that was a thing. Like <laughs> Sounds like for someone who hasn't seen Gilmore Girls, it sounds so dramatic. It's like Dean. Like, <laughs> this takes like, like four seasons Dean to happen. Dean cheated on his girlfriend. And on his what? wife. So we like Dean. We dislike Dean. Uh, He's nice again later. Yeah. And then but now I'm, I'm kind of indifferent to Dean. Moving on to the second romance and arguably our favorite, my personal favorite. Absolutely. Is Jess. Oh, the beautiful motorbike heartthrob. So Jess, what does that say about Jess? She's Jess, the best. Jess comes into the show in uh, the second season, I believe, right? Or is it the first one? Second, second. one. Second. And he's the bad boy of the town. Ooh. And at first, he, he's, I he's a rebel without a court. I like, I like Jess. In the beginning, he's a little bit annoying because he, he always talks out of his mouth, like on the side. He's always angry like this. Yeah, he's always, <laughs> like, begin with, he gets really irritating because it's like, you know what, just chill out. I think where he really like gets into his stride is in the later seasons. Yeah, yeah. in like season six, was it? Yeah. So in the beginning, I thought Dean was the guy. Then Roy starts liking Jess. And then I was like, Jess is the guy. Even though you kind of feel bad for Dean, although he's a little too clingy. Yeah. Because Rory's not great. 
Rory like doesn't make Dean feel secure about it. The Jess and Rory romance is like a will they, won't they type scenario. And boy, do they. Do they. They do indeed. So Jess we like. Jess we're a fan of. But then he goes away to, he like leaves. He like fucks off to New York. Which is the weirdest thing ever. Right, yeah, he's really flaky and unreliable. He's super flaky and he's like, come with me. And then he comes back and he's like, mistake. Rory, Rory, come Rory. with me. So in the later season, Jess like invites Rory to an art gallery that he put together. Or yeah. Like, like a, a communion of a bunch of different artists that come together. He's just like, and stuff. out of all of them, he's the obviously the coolest he's one. He's the coolest one. Like and he, also he's a writer. He writes a book. He writes a book. He self-publishes a book. He lives in Philadelphia. He's just a cool guy. He's just a cool dude. So this segues into the third and final romance of Rory's, which is Logan. So, Logan. Logan. What's there to say about Logan? Here's the thing. Logan, so the premise of Logan is that he's a guy at Yale. Rory ends up going to Yale. And he obviously is there because he's a rich kid who is a legacy and he goes to Yale because his family is very wealthy. Wealthier even than her grandparents. He really doesn't give you a reason to hate him. They, I, yeah, I, I don't, I feel indifferent towards Logan. No. So I, don't, I don't hate him, but I, I kind of like him. Yeah, I'm liking him right now. Maybe it's because we're in the middle of the, the last season. The weird thing about him is that you, they, don't, they don't really give you a reason to dislike him. The reason why you dislike him is because he's wealthy. I think I'm a big fan of Logan because he's nice to Rory. He is. He's really nice to her. Uh, although there was one thing where he cheats. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. He fucks everyone, like three a, bridesmaids. Apparently cheats in Stars Hollow. Yeah, what the fuck uh, is up with people? I don't know what they're drinking, but people are cheating. So yeah, we like Logan. I prefer Jess. Jess is more the bad boy of the town. Yeah. But... Uh, we can live with both of them. Honestly, Logan or Jess, I would be happy with. Yeah, I think we're just guys. like, for whatever reason, we're really biased against Dean. Yeah. And we could talk more about, like, Lorelai's love interest, but I think everyone knows who they want to, like, end up with her at the final season. Ugh. Hungover. Coffee. Rory. Now. Lorelai, it's your fifth cup today. Okay, it's only my third. Coffee. Now, please. It's gonna have to be decaf. Oh. Are you sadistic? Caffeinated. Now. That's the deal, Lorelai. Decaf or bust. <laughs> Fine. Hey, have you seen Rory around? Ah, uh, yeah, she came in with Jess and was making out with him. Jess? I thought she was still with Dean. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy stuff happens around Stars Hollow. Well, okay. Save this cup for me. I love you. Bye! <laughs> love you, Lorelai. <laughs> Go ahead. Nailed it.